All right, y'all. Back at it again. Crypto faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless. <laughs> Back at it, giving you guys the best value information in crypto. It's free. It's the best value. <laughs> but uh, today, I wanted to speak about a few things. First, like, comment, and subscribe. That's number one. Brand new channel. Trying to get the subscriber subscribers up. Uh, like I said, the first. 1,000 subscribers are going to have a special place in my heart, guys. <laughs> Reporting live from the Island Resort. Told you I've been wildly successful in crypto. And I want each and every one of you guys to be wildly successful in crypto as well. In order to do that, you got to follow certain uh, procedures, techniques, rules, regulations, <laughs> which I'm explaining right here on the channel, guys. It's for free. Like, comment, subscribe. Today, I want to speak about black swans are they a good thing are they a bad thing what are they how to spot them is it negative is it positive all of these things need to be discussed all right because i'm seeing a lot of doom and gloom in the market black swan we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna have a bull run right remember i told you guys in the last video whenever people are talking about we're not gonna have another bull run it's not gonna come back around all of these things are bottom signals, bottom signs, um, which means these are buy signals, right? You should be buying at the bottom and selling at the top, right? I've been saying that, and I'm going to keep, you know, dropping these gems for you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Now, Black Swan, is it a good thing or a bad thing? It is a good thing. First of all, let's get into what a Black Swan is. All right, so a Black Swan event is something that happens in the market that no one expected all right it's not expected by anyone um and it could be an economical crisis it could be a health crisis like we had previously in the last bull run we all know about the c19 right no need to get into that actually we'll get into that actually it could be a financial crisis it could be a uh, uh or a geopolitical crisis like the one that we're having right now all right, and then, uh, I'm not really going to get into you know politics or not, not like that. I don't think this channel is about politics, but you know uh, the black swan that we're having right now is geopolitical, and um, it may or may not have an effect on the market. People are you know initially getting scared. There is a little bit of a sell off in crypto, um, and and that's expected. You know, whenever there is uh, uncertainty in the market. Uh, people get scared they're gonna release or sell you know these uh high risk um assets like uh and crypto is one of them right so um that's expected but long term is it gonna stop the next bull run is it gonna you know stop us from making these 1000 x gains come on bro come on bro if you think that then i don't know what to say i mean it, 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 there are only going to be certain people that are going to be successful in crypto that's just point blank period bottom line right and um you got to be able to you know see certain things as they happen and not retroactively and that's the problem a lot of times yeah we can see the top one a year later that's so easy look at the chart that, that was the top six months ago right but you need to be able to see the top um as it happens right you need to be able to see buying opportunities as they happen not retroactively all right so uh that's what we're talking about today black swans black swans all right like we said we just defined it uh are they good or are they bad they're great they're great buying opportunities all right i'll give you one example um last bull market we had c19 happen right before the halving go look it up it was like a few months before the halving we had the, the big crash of c19 um which was of course everybody knows about it it was a health crisis worldwide global health crisis not expected by anybody black swan event um bitcoin went down to 3000 3k huge buying opportunity it eventually went up to 68000 or 69000 think about how many x's you could have got even in a safe play like you know bitcoin uh and you only got that for you know actively participating in a black swan event all right that's the point of this video uh imagine if you would have got you know the alt that you liked in the black swan event right imagine how many gains you would you would have got 
right? Instead of 10x, you could have gotten 100x, 1,000x, right? That's the difference between buying, um, you know, buying at, you know, in a bull market and buying before a bull market or even better, buying during a black swan event, okay? It's the point of the video, guys. Black swan events, black swan events are good things, all right? This is a buying opportunity, okay? I know that your, your heart is not going to want to buy it. Your emotions are not going to want it. Like, come on, bro. We talked about this in the last video. Um, the way it works is you have to be contrarian. You have to go against the grain. You have to go against the crowd. You have to go against your own emotions. That's very difficult to do. I'm not going to lie. Not easy. But that's exactly why many people are not successful in crypto. I told you. I'm on an island resort. <laughs> Listen, guys, I want everybody to be successful. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm giving you guys gems right now. One of the ways to be wildly successful in crypto is to do what no one else is doing. Whenever, When everyone else is bearish, you are bullish. And you're not just bullish. You're buying. That's the point. You're not just bullish. You're buying. Okay? Um, there's no point in just being bullish and, oh, I'm bullish on crypto, but you're not acting upon it. Actions is the key. Like you can say whatever you want in life, but if you're not acting upon it, then it has no benefit. You're you're not gonna bear any fruits. You know, right? <laughs> All right. So, uh, boom, black swan event. Now, I'm anticipating that if, like I said, this is not a you know political channel, but if you know, let's say, the United States were to enter in to the current conflict that you know is going on overseas, Israel Palestine um in any significant way then uh yeah that would that would be an initial black swan that could possibly send the markets down we could see you know prices tank across the board stocks everything right um crypto you know um and um especially these alts and you're gonna find if this happens you're gonna find a lot of those alts that you really love go down really low all right and that might hurt your stomach a little bit that might you know make you cringe that might you know <laughs> uh make people feel like oh i'm so tired of this market but in reality it's the best buying opportunity all right because if uh the u.s were to enter into another war um uh, best believe the money printer is just gonna go brrr, brrr. <laughs> money printer go up right uh dollar go up stock go up everything is gonna go like ridiculous right money printer turned on the game starts over all right um yeah there will be initial sell-off and then we're gonna see uh most likely the biggest bull run that we've ever seen uh, in my opinion all right and uh it's not just me there are other you know very influential people in the space who who believe the same thing but the crowd is the one that's pushing the uh the bearish narrative the crowd are the ones that are, you know, telling you that there aren't, there isn't going to be another bull run. This might be it. It's the end of the world, right? All these doomsday predictions, bro. It never happens. It never happens. All right. Be contrarian. If everybody's saying doomsday, you're saying bull day. All right. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm I'm, I'm giving you gems right now. I'm giving you gems. All right. So, uh, yeah, there might be a drawdown in the market um, if you know, uh, like I said. Uh, if this geopolitical situation gets a little bit worse, um, and that's a buying opportunity that that should not be missed, okay. Um, and I want to drop a gem for you guys, right? And, and I touched on this in, in, in one of my previous videos, but uh, that you need to be buying, right? Uh, this is not financial advice. You need to be doing whatever you want to do. <laughs> but what I'm gonna be doing, and what I think is a good plan. Uh, from my previous successes is that you need to be buying in the bear market right now we are in a bear market okay although i do think that we're on the you know the last uh few months of the bear market i think you have about three more months three to four more months to really position yourself before the next bull run uh because the halving is coming up in april uh or somewhere around april um so yeah the plan is to buy right now. This is my plan. The, the plan, and this is what smart people do during every cycle. You buy right now. You stack up these bags, okay? Um, and then 
you when the bull run comes around, you don't buy anything. You don't buy anything. This is the problem. This is the problem, guys. I'm dropping gems. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. <laughs> I need subscribers. <laughs> now listen. Uh the problem is this, guys. You're you're you were here during the bull market. If you're watching my video right now, you're here during the bear market. Excuse me, the bear market. Right? Uh, and I assume many of you are probably buying uh, crypto during the bear market, right? As any sane person would do if they're in crypto during the bear market, you buy during the lows, right? And you should you should then be selling during the highs. Like whenever the bull market comes back around and that euphoria comes and everybody's talking about crypto and all the, you know, the crypto channels are getting millions of views and every coin is going up by 100x, and right? You should be selling uh, at that time. But the problem is... Uh, People, the same, like people keep falling into the same mistake. You were buying during the bear market, but then all of a sudden during the bull market, you get caught up in this hysteria and euphoria and you become like the people who just came in late. You start buying just like them. You start buying new cryptos in the bull market, just like them. All right. Even though they came late, they don't have any gains. They don't have any crypto from the bear market. They're buying everything within the bull market. And yeah, you will make, you know, 1x, 2x, 3x, maybe even a 10x, right? Maybe even a 20x during the bull market. But the people who buy during the bear, they're the ones who make the 100x's. They're the one who make uh who makes the 1000x's, right? The real gains. And um you don't want to get caught up with those new people who are just chasing the 10x's and you know, the 5x's, right? Um and this is the problem. When you get caught up with those people, even though you were in the bear market buying the lows, you got caught up with the new people, the late Johnny come lately, all right? The, the late comers. You got caught up buying during the bull market with them, and you forgot to sell. Point blank, period. Guys, drop, I'm dropping gems. Like, comment, and subscribe. You forgot to sell because you got caught up buying during the bull market when you were early, right? You were early. You were buying during the bear. Right. So you should not get caught up trying to buy during the bull market. That's the biggest uh, way to lose in crypto. Right. You buy now and you sell on people who are coming in later on. That's how crypto works. Sorry. It might not sound great. Right. It might not sound great. But that's how crypto works. You buy during the low when nobody's talking about anything, i.e. right now. OK. And then. When the euphoria comes around, the bull market comes around, you sell on people's heads. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like to say it like that, but that's a fact. That's the only way to be successful in crypto. You don't buy anything during the bear market, bro. Right? Very little. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying anything, but very little. You're not a buyer, really, during the bull market. You're a buyer in the bear. You're a seller in the bull. Right? I'm dropping gems, guys. I'm dropping gems. So let's bring it. Let's, let's wrap everything uh, right on back to the to the point. We're talking about swans, black swans. If we have a black swan right now, or in the coming uh, weeks or months, um, it's a buying opportunity. When the bull market comes back around, you should become a seller, um, and, um, and and you will be successful in crypto. Hopefully, uh, you know, if you're following my channel, I'm dropping gems every video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to wrap it up with that uh, today, guys. Uh, catch you guys later. Report live from the uh, Island Resort. Holla. <laughs> it's crypto faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless. Take care, guys.